Jones. Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to a complete demo of a network security paper, SMOC, a scalable method of cryptographic key management for mission critical wireless ad hoc networks. According to this paper, developing a key management for a mission critical network is a challenging task. So in the existing system, KDC, key distribution center is used for the key generation. In our method, we are going to present a scalable method of cryptographic key management, SMOC. So in this scheme, a small number of cryptographic keys are stored offline at the individual nodes before they are deployed into the network. To provide a good scalability in terms of number of nodes and storage space, we utilize a key public-private key pairs, which means nodes combine more than one key pair to encrypt and decrypt the messages. So now let's go into see the flow of the project. The project flow starts with the server-client communication. So after connection establishment between server and then client. The server has to generate the keys according to the number of clients connected with the server. The key generation is done according to the algorithm implemented in the section 4. So after public and private keys are generated, the keys are allocated to the clients. After key allocation, we are going to select randomly two nodes and then we are going to make a transaction between them. The transaction starts with the sender. The sender will send the ID request to the receiver. Then it is followed by the receiver will send the ID. Then after that the sender will encrypt the data according to the ID and then send to the receiver. So here hash function is also used to check the integrity of the data. Now we are going to see the demo of the project. The project demo starts with the smoke server. First, I am going to give the number of nodes as an input 50. Then, after grid construction, I am going to deploy 50 nodes. After deploying 50 nodes, I am going to generate keys for these deployed nodes. nodes and their xy position then we are going to derive a and then b a and b is nothing but that a is number of distinct key pairs and then b is number of private keys in each client then we are going to generate keys so number of distinct keys is 8 so we are going to generate 8 public key and then 8 private key so next key pool generation so in key pool we are going to generate key pair for the each client for the first node 1213, second node 1214. So, like this, we are generating key pair for the 50 nodes. So, there is no repetition of keys, won't be there. This is the number, this is the corresponding binary digit, and then the corresponding private key set. After that, we are going to distribute these details to the database. Next, we are going to select three random agents and then we are going to make a transaction between them. For that, first I am going to make a communication between server and the clients. I have to give a port number assigned. So now we are going to connect agent 1. For that I have to give the IP address of the server and the port number. After that uh, connect. Same process for the agent 2. And then same for the agent 3 also. Third client login. After connection established between agents and the server, 
server has to allocate keys to all the agents. For the agent one, node is 32, node ID is 257, and their corresponding private key set. So like this, keys are allocated to the three agents. So now all these informations are distributed to corresponding agents. Agent 1, so key is received successfully, do you want to make a transaction or not? Yes. ID, private key and public key. Agent 2, keys, ID, private key and public keys. ID, private key and then public keys. Now agent 1 is going to make a transaction with agent 2. So available agents, agent 2. ID request is given to agent 2. First we are accepting the request. After that we are sending the ID to agent 1. ID received. After receiving the ID, we are going to encrypt a message. After that, we are going to generate a hash for the message. Then we are going to send to agent 2. New message received. Then we go for the decryption. Before de decryption, we have to perform a hash verification. The message is valid. We are going for the decryption. So now we got the original message. So this is a secure transaction between the agent by using the smart. Now we are going to the next phase. So in this next phase, this is an adapt network. So if new nodes are joined to the network, how the keys are allocated to the nodes? Insert nodes. So this is a total number of nodes deployed and the total number of each node carries keys each node carries and the total number of private keys so now I am going to insert extra 20 nodes in the network so for the total now total number of nodes is 70 for 70 nodes now we are generating new A and then B so now number of keys is 10 and then each node carries 3, three keys so total keys is 120 keys. We can able to allocate these keys to the 120 clients. Now we are going to allocate to the 70 clients. So now new key set is allocated to the 70 clients. Thank you very much for listening this video.